The following video is a simple single stage good receipt from start to completion without using barcodes. We're going to do many other of these videos with short snippets of different areas and different ways we can good receipt the goods. But let's take a look. This demonstration will go through the steps to complete a GRN using the eReceipts app single stage where all items on the purchase order have arrived correctly. With the app already launched, I'm going to enter in my username, remembering it's case sensitive. I'm going to enter in my password. Again, remember this is case sensitive. I'm going to tap login. It's asking me for my branch reference code, in this case 1001, and then I'm going to click on the pink right arrow. The cursor is now flashing in the enter order number, barcode, or it will allow me to search for the supplier's name, which is what I'm going to do. In this case, it's Wentworth Supplies. So I'm going to start typing in Wentworth. And because it's a supply I've used before, it's suggesting Wentworth below. I can now tap on that and then click search. And it will list all the purchase orders for that supplier that are outstanding or they have outstanding lines on there. So the one I'm going to use is number 68. So I'm just going to tap on that. And it's now going to ask me to enter a GRN reference number. Now this generally is the delivery note number. In this case, it's ER14368. You've then got a goods received date. Now, if you need to change the date, so maybe if this purchase order had arrived late in the evening and you're now booking it in the next day, but the paperwork has got the previous date on there, you simply tap on the date and the calendar will come up and it will allow you to change the date. As it stands, I'm going to leave the date to the 15th. So I simply click on done and then click on the bottom right hand corner where it says create the GRN. As I create that, it will load up the purchase order. So you can see when with supplies, you can see the GRN number on the top left uh, of ER14368, which I entered in. And it's telling me there are four lines on the purchase order. The four lines will be listed below. And on the right hand side of each of the lines, you will see a pink circle. And below that pink circle, it will say the quantity that we're expecting re to receive and it will by default will say zero of whatever quantity it is that it's expecting. Now, as I say, on this purchase order, we're going to say that everything has arrived correctly. So all I need to do to confirm this is simply tap on the, the pink circle on each line. And as I do that, you'll see it'll turn to a tick. And on the left hand side, we also have a green tick on the, the line detail. And you will notice where we had zero of five of five um, before, it now says five of five on the line that we have, have tapped on the pink circle. So I'm going to do the same on the next line and the next line. And again, I'm going to scroll up if I need to see any lines below. So I can scroll up and again, you can see I've just got the fourth line. And again, I just simply tap on there to say all five of those have arrived. I can then simply click on the bottom right hand button which says confirm and it asks me do I want to confirm the GRN uh, which I do so I say complete and it's telling me that every line is complete without error. Now I can if I wanted to tap the show all lines at the top of the screen which will give me a review of the order and everything that has come in. And again, if I tap the show all lines again, you'll see that they will all disappear. To move on, I click on confirm. And at this point, it will have confirmed the orders in. It then will display the put away instructions for that order. And you will see that product line one, the item needs to go into tool shed location 22. Line two needs to go into toolshed 32. And again, I can scroll down to see where all the other items need to go. Once I've put them away, I can simply click on close and it's now back at the search screen, ready for me to search for another purchase order for another supplier to then book the items in.